welcome to my den of biography. I thought it'd be nice to have a little catch up as I've been off for a few months, although I'm getting back into the swing of things now and thoroughly enjoying it. Um, I'm really enjoying making the videos again and I thought it would be a good opportunity today to sit and have a little chat with you. Firstly, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody that watches the videos and likes, subscribes and leaves comments. I really enjoy reading the comments and there's always something new and exciting to learn. I also thoroughly appreciate the lovely compliments I get about my research. Well, this is where it happens. Well, most of it anyway. I mean, I do go out and about as well, but this is where I do most of my work. As you've probably noticed, if you're a regular viewer, I don't use Wiki. I research right from the ground. I start with books, um, paperwork, I'll go to places. I've also got an extensive collection of magazines, vintage magazines, such as, oh, I have so many of these. Oh, picture goer, um, 1939 Pegs magazine, Woman's Weekly, um, show, ooh, Showgirl with Diana Dawes, I've got loads, just absolutely loads of picture goers. Every magazine possible, I think I've got. I've got them under in like cubby holes here. I've got them under the desk. I've got them all over the house. And it's the same with the books. The books have spilled out over the years. It's a very large collection that's spilled out over the years into all the other rooms in the house, except maybe the bathroom. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> They're literally everywhere. Um, so I use books, I cross-reference, I do look on the internet, but I don't rely on the internet because it's not always accurate. And I've seen so many different things said about the same subject. And you know, So I try to be as accurate as possible. I try to make sure that I cross-reference everything so that I get it right for you. I'm currently working on another favourite of mine. Um, it's a, quite an interesting person, slightly strange person to say the least. I think you'll really enjoy this one. Um, I'm enjoying the research for it, so fingers crossed you'll enjoy it too. I'm hoping to upload it very soon, but it won't be this weekend because I have a bombshell weekend planned and I can't do without my bombshell weekends, which consists of much champagne drinking, film watching, as you can imagine, and talking about films and just thoroughly enjoying ourselves. So it'll be soon, but it won't be this weekend. And talking of bombshells, you may or may not know that I'm the author of this book, Bombshells, Five Women Who Set the Fifties on Fire, and it's published by the History Press, and it features Jean Harlow, Ruth Ellis, Marilyn Monroe, Diana Dawes, and Jane Mansfield. So if you're interested in any of those, or all of those, this book may be just right for you. I've also had magazine articles published, including uh, this one on Marilyn Monroe, and Diana Dawes in the fabulous Best of British, so I'm very proud of that. I've also had the Berkshire Bombshell <laughs> published, so I'm proud of that. And of course, my recent one being Liz Fraser in the fabulous Yours Retro magazine. So I'm kind of, uh, as you can say, very interested in my subject. And I have written for magazines over quite a few years now, going back to 1987, I think. Yeah, 1987. So I'm not sure I want to say that really. So, oh well, yeah, 1987. <laughs> I'm vintage myself. 
I'm currently working on my second book, um, which means so much to me. I'm really, really thoroughly into this book <laughs> and the research is very thorough. It's taken me quite a long time because I want everything to be just right. I really do. I am so in love with this person. I want this book to be just brilliant. <laughs> I really do. So um, that's part of the thing that takes up my time. So I don't always have a lot of time on my hands with the videos. They take up a lot of time as well. So it's a bit of a balancing act. So this was intended to be just a quick catch up. So I'll try not to waffle on. I'll thank you again for all your support to all subscribers, old and new, and to people that don't subscribe. If you just watch the videos, that means the absolute world to me. Um, so thank you for watching the videos, but most importantly, or most important to me, I really love chatting in the comments. I know that I haven't always over the last three months been able to be as consistent as I would like to be and answer every comment, although I do try. Um, I haven't because various things, including my book that I'm currently writing. So I've not been on top of things with the videos and stuff, but I do love the comments. I really do. And they often make me laugh and they most always make me smile. So thank you so much to all of you and I look forward to seeing you in the comments <laughs> and I look forward to uh, making more videos that I hope you'll watch. Thank you so much. So take care, look after yourself, have a wonderful weekend and I'll speak to you soon.